Let's play a little game and see where you end. Let's play a little game and see where you end. Okay, we have a hitcher. The house. Okay, so the story begins with a house. It could be your house. It is dark and the moon is full. There is an animal outside. It could be a fox. The house is old. Let's see if you can tap into the atmosphere of this house. This house might belong to a Virgo. This might be a place What happened? Something happened with this house. A Leo could happen to this house. There used to be a lot of fun. Someone made love in that house. And someone left. The house is lonely. Let's continue the story. And in the end of the story, perhaps you will understand why we are doing it the way we are doing it now. With the house, there is a key. This is the skeleton key. This is the key that will solve any problem. And it's being delivered to you. Now it is all up to you to accept this key. It is number 33, which is a sacred number. It is also working on your highest passion, something that you love to do. Something that you love to do more than anything. You now have possession over this house. You have to deal with someone, someone around you. You can't trust them. What do they want? What is it that they want? They want to play. They want to, play. They want to have fun. You can't trust them. They're coming out as very wounded. They want your attention. But the universe tells you to watch out. There is a boat coming in. It is turbulent, it is difficult, it could be anything, it uh, doesn't have to be a boat either, it is, but we, for now, we just call it boat, it's a vehicle, it could e e easily be a train or a flight, there is a journey, it's something here about adventure, it's something about going away. So you can have this adventure. Some of you might find vermin in your house, rats, or you might find friends who like to benefit from your 
sweat equity. It might also, of course, be in the bout, depending on what timeline you're surfing on. But there are someone around you. Not only are they false, but they like to pretend they are your friends and they eat from your resources. Number 23. They bring diseases to your life. You have someone around you who are basically what you would call pure evil. Someone who are highly dangerous. It could be a sociopath, psychopath. But they come out as very charming and very seductive. And they might convince you to do things that never usually is quite your thing, if you know what I mean. It's not quite your thing to do exactly that thing. So you have a lot of enemies against you here and your safe haven is the house. That house is your fortune. It's something perhaps being given to you as a reward. It's something that will belong to you, a home. That's why also the key is yours. It is your luck. Fox is shown or coming up as a young woman. Look out for a young woman, a young woman that you might not, might not trust. She might come out as a Leo or have strong Leo features. She could be a Lyra and Starseed, but honestly, she's coming out as very playful, very charming. People like to play with this woman. But she is your foe. On your adventure, some of you might meet love. The people who are eating up your finances, your resources, they will make you sick if you continue to let them play with your fortune or play games in your house or be in your energy field, whoever you are. The snake is, vis is, is not visible. It's difficult for you to see the snake because it's it's hiding somewhere it's it's completely invisible to you you're not aware of this individual who wants to harm you who are like i said according to the lenormand cards evil let's continue the game Let's see how much better, yeah. Again, you will have more than one opportunity for this journey. And uh, in this case, there could be a second, secondary child there. You might say thank you for that journey because that snake or someone is betraying you or will betray you. And therefore you choose 
I don't know what you choose to do with your fortune, but I would say take good care of it. Perhaps you choose to sell your house. But this fortune is yours. Hold on to it. This woman, she wants to have a place in your life. Perhaps she looks up to you. I don't know how young she is, but she is the fox. She is a fake person. She truly do not want your friendship. She wants to be a part of taking from your wealth and build her new life upon that wealth. This love that you might meet on an adventure is cruel. He or she could have a cruel mouth it's coming out as a man. Doesn't have to, of course. I'm not going to be gender specific here. But cruelty follows him. Or he could also be a victim of cruelty himself. Now the vermin in your life that makes you sick, that likes to take advantage of the resources you have, they like to play. They like to play games. Mind games, money games, whatever it is. But if you spend too much time with them, whatever disease they have, in what you will perceive as their electromagnetic field, it will make you sick because they themselves are filled with sickness. Now regarding the snake and the fact that the room is empty, you just dodged something very evil and it's considered to be your luck of the day. We are not done. Let me have a zip of my drink. And as we take this journey we will hopefully raise in our vibrations. There is something here regarding your heart and this house. It is nostalgic to you. It could be a home, someone who left you this house. And the betrayal regarding around this fortune and this house, it will affect your heart. Now, the warning regarding the fox and this individual, there will be a message here for you. It might be brought to you personally from an individual. And the advice for you outside of this is to look to the stars. So you can gain clarity and healing. You get the stars again. So it is being, it's co also connected to this man. And this love that he might present to you where you will get there is something here where you know the rider itself is a diplomat he's neutral something will hit your heart very hard and so you need to look to the stars twice you need to go to the stars you need to be with the stars
Uh, the second card is the moon. Sorry. So the moon and the stars. Still good lucky coincidence. Yeah. So you can barely see the stars in between this wheel here. Uh, but yeah. The moon and the stars. The silence. The healing. There is something there for you that you need to pick up on, upon. Perhaps you need some time alone to digest whatever is being delivered to you from this news. There is a child involved in this situation. Or there could be a childlike energy here. Playful. And you have to be careful because uh, they are connected to the firmament, to, to you or someone becoming sick. Someone spending perhaps money on games instead of their family, not taking responsibility. There will be a new letter from you, not not from you, but to you. From, it is something that has to do with the snake. So you managed to dodge the snake, but what is inside that letter? It is seven of swords. It tells you that you have been deceived. But how? How are you deceived? Let's play with Kitten and see if we can find out. The energy that is connected to the heart and a betrayal where you will have your good fortune, you will have your house and your key, is connected to a good lady. She might be the one who either betrays you or gives you the house. But then some sad news will come and uh, we are now addressing the fox which is a young girl who wants to anchor her lives around your life who is sending you a message perhaps received by this by this you know you get the message personally it could have something to do with the stars i don't know why the stars are coming specific into this picture because you know it's it's more about perhaps how you handle it but the news speaks for itself in this card the news are sad they will manage to do something and as i say this if this is a story that you can resonate with, know that when these predictions are being told, you have the key to change the outcome of what is being said here. Note that is extremely important. Now, there is love coming in, a lover. But there is cruelty connected to this, which might you find yourself alone again because you can't understand why people are so cruel. Well, I'll tell you why. Because you are on your way 
to a different path where you need to remove yourself of people who are destroying your achievements in regarding to your ascension to a higher dimensional plane or a new world. So all the snakes and the vermin and the fox and the betrayers and the traitors and all the awful peoples you've known in your entire life, they will gather up upon some of you right here, right now, in order for you to squeeze the worst part of yourself out of your life or squeeze yourself away from their life, to remove yourself from a life that do no longer serve you so you can be the best version of who you are and show me the cruelty of this man this man this lover is someone who loves to gain a lot of money he is gaining a lot of money but how is it from you or is it from playing is he part of the vermin in the story don't shoot the messenger. This is just the cards speaking. <clears throat> from the vermin, from these people who are taking a deep advantage of your financial structure, who are making you sick, who likes to play games. There is a child involved here or someone very young or someone very youthful. It also represents a new beginning. You will receive a gift. But if you take a good look at this car, I've shown this car before, someone are keeping an eye on you. So this gift for those of you who are Scorpio, we both know that the gift itself might be a trap or a means to an end in order to get to come closer to you. Also known as ass kissing. Now. Regarding this letter from this snake who you dodged, you dodged a bullet from that snake, you will receive a letter that might have something to do with love and you might be seduced by it. Now, I did re read earlier to Sagittarius, Aries, all the fire signs. One of you will be seduced by the devil in this card. It's talking about success in love. However, it's been placed on a card that shows seven of swords, which belongs to the snake on top of the column. Are you sure you want to go there? They will tell you how honorable you are and how much they look up to you and how much they care for you. However, are you sure about this? course my favorite <laughs> okay are you ready to continue the story or do you want it to end here so this house this beautiful house where you will receive a key and a good fortune there is a betrayal where you decide you want to leave it breaks your heart and in that heart there's this good lady this good lady she carries the colors of the heart chakra 
528 hertz. She seems very good. Did she give you the house or did she betray you? So we have another woman popping up here. Which makes this even more mysterious. That woman might be some of you. Okay. She's coming out as, uh, you know, dark uh, African or South Indian with, with a yellow clothes and a pig as a pet. But it's just depicting the feminine energy, basically. Okay. So she has a connection and this could, like I said, this can be you. So the sad news, the sad news brings you because of this false person in this, in your life, who's trying to build their life around yours. It forces you, it, it, you know, it brings sad news. I do get the feeling of someone's illness here might lead to a death. Uh, we see someone who are sick here, but it leads you to a path above a bridge where you will f you are you know you will be forced to um, choose one path over another and the bridge there is something that looks like a capricorn half uh, clove animal half fish it could easily also be a half horse uh yeah it looks like a half horse with a fish tail so it has a very symbolic meaning because you have to choose between logic and emotions in this situation now there is this there is this uh boat coming in you know someone coming in like i said it could be a bus it could be a, a train it could be a flight it could be a car these cards are based on an ancient you know some old you know travel is travel today we travel in so many ways it could even be a motorbike there is this lover coming in or love and to this there is attached cruelty and gaining a lot of money and beside him we have vermin someone getting sick but the game is being prioritized. However, a new beginning will start and there will be a gift. Now again, when you will seek solitude under the moon and at the stars, this man wants also to anchor himself around your life. It could be a woman, but I'm, now I'm going to be direct from the gender. So is he a part of the vermin? Well, receiving a gift, these vermin with a new beginning, they won't come far. It's a little bit funny because it kind of, it's, it's very close to where I'm actually doing the read. <laughs> with a yak ox. Uh, I think I see something like Tibet or something in the background or in the mountains there. So I am now very close to, I, I could probably go a little up and I can see Himala Himalaya from where I am. Anyway, the players here, you're offered a new beginning and a gift. But these players, they don't come very far with the mountain here. It will, it will stop them. They don't have a chance. They don't seem to have a chance anyway. But success in love. You will meet someone uh, who seems to be loyal to you. But is it true? Because uh, they are in the other end of the snake.
You dodge the snake who is pure evil. The room is empty. And it's showing up as luck. Then you get the letter that is from this snake which talks about deception. And to this letter, success in love is connected. And you have all, I will always be loyal to you, it says. Do you trust it? Or do you not? We will see who soon, how you will respond to all this. So we will use the some, some different cards here where we will yeah some some parts here we won't necessarily dig till the end of it because there is no end of this story but let's see so this woman the same woman she's popping up again same card 29 29 so for sure there is something here very important regarding you and this house and this fortune. Maybe you are winning money. Maybe you, but who this woman is? Who is this woman? This good lady might be you. That's why the 29 card is coming up twice as the main person, as a female. She might be you, and that's why you know you she have a dog with her which symbolizes loyalty, and that's why and she have a green dress. I don't get malicious energies from her, so someone will betray you, and we do know that the snake already had betrayed you in this story. So who is the betraying? Well, my guess is the snake. What is yours? Could be connected to the sign of Virgo. Could be someone who is also connected. Or it could be a lover. Six, as in the Gemini card. So you travel. It seems to me that you, you find a new place, maybe as a vacation or something, just to, to create a new nest. Maybe you even find a new family. Maybe you truly find love. But in this case, this, these uh, stock cells are connected. You are going somewhere after being uh, deceived by this false person and gaining full uh, sad news. So the sad news which are because of that person. So you will leave into a new world. You will find a lover who will try, who is cruel or either he is cruel, he can also be a victim for cruelty himself. He likes to make money could be Cancerian energy as the moon is popping up here, but he wants to settle down with you. The vermin or your so-called friends, the rats in your house or on your boat or whatever in this column where you will have a new beginning where everything stops, they will, you know, go into a depression. One of them could be a Leo or have a strong Leo placement. I don't see the relevance in them because um, but, but the relevance is there for, because some of you refuse to let them go basically 
So you won't only just get one letter from this reptile, you will get more letters from this reptile. Yeah? More letters. We love more letters. Give us more letters. Ooh. Now we soon rounding up the story, huh? I was hoping for more fairies and dragons, to be honest, but oh, I do have some vampires here and some space aliens. Let's save them for the next fun. Okay, let's see. So where you are with your house, there will be some hard work for you. And uh, again, perhaps you will feel a little bit exhausted, depressed. Maybe you will go to a place where you will see a lot of monkeys. <laughs> if you do, I, I can tell you where you can go. You can stay on my balcony. So this is also a place of Shiva. And uh, it's also showing some Chinese aspects here. But wherever you choose to go, where you choose to perhaps work or get a new job, uh, there is some sexuality connected to this journey. You will have to work on yourself, basically. But there is, there is some... So hanky panky going on here basically and the rider will come back with news from the fox where they now have connected up with a rich or oh, good old gentleman and they are now in despair they want to kill themselves they are in despair they are suicidal basically Possibly because you left. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, th they will give you a message, but I don't know where this rich, good gentleman is connected to. So I'm going to put him a little bit to the side because I feel the the reason this individual is your foe is because they feel maybe uh, a sense of jealousy. They feel that you got something they were supposed to get. They, the house and the keys and the fortune and whatever, it was supposed to go to them, but it didn't. Somehow they managed to connect, connect up to a rich, good gentleman. But I don't see what that has to do with you in your story. So this lover here that's coming out quite hot. Again, this this hot guy. Uh, it seems to me that uh, because with the, the whip card here, it seems to me that this is someone who are punishing themselves a lot. That's why they're coming out as cruel. They're not necessarily cruel themselves. They want to anchor themselves around you. And they are very intelligent, they are philosophical, and again, they are getting unexpected money. So basically what I'm saying here, that being your lover these days is quite, you know, it's like your energy of attracting money is... Uh, is being, uh, you know, if you, if you are, if people are in your favor, they too will attract money or you will attract someone who are your reflection. Right? So although the storyline here that you and this individual have is very, very different, they're coming out as your reflection. 
<clears throat> again for these people and the players and your former friends uh, there again is a new beginning uh, one of your friends you know they have three children they have three children they need to feed or they have three new beginnings you take it as you want but all the children are connected to these friends of your where where you know they're not coming out as evil they are not vicious they're not fake they just are very disrespectful so they have someone in your family they might be poor and that's why they have someone sick in their family thinking maybe if we are playing some games or where we can go to the main person in the game uh give 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 her a gift or whatever you know the problem would solve itself but but you are you're removing yourself from them uh, there is a love connection among these rats one of these rats might be in love with you and when you're gone or they might be in love with someone else you know there is not necessarily all about you me me myself and i in this in this uh, game here uh, but they are doing this ah oh, and you're leaving so i'm going to leave those behind now i'm not going to waste any more energy on on these people these are so the snake the snake is also in love with you at least that is what they tell you so the in this message from the snake again they tell you that you are my great happiness and that i love you so you have two love offerings here two love offerings now let's draw some alternative cards well these are also alternative cards and see uh, what they they uh Namashirai, what they might um advise you to do with the situation so if you find some truth to this story then feel free to comment this is just for fun to see if there is a story here that can be connected but for sure whoever you are you have at least two options in love and you have a lot of people who want to try and take you down but right now it doesn't seem like you and this love connection are aware of each other necessarily or that you know that you are each other's love connection but <laughs> you had two love connections now it's up to you to find out which one is the one who are a snake i'd say the one that actually are well off who are lucky with money is your person the one that is the snake who talks a lot but doesn't really give anything who is an empty shell that's the one you do not go for so you coming out is quite attractive and beautiful and the card wants you to remind you about that and uh, even if you don't feel so there is also something about the peacock as an animal i see a lot of uh, you know where i am now there there is a lot of peacock feathers and you do have sexuality coming up here so it could be you know uh where i am it's connected to the krishna worship actually so regarding the fox it tells you to move away from them it's, it seems like you're doing it she has about about as sexy thighs as i am but uh, yeah just move on move on and move away from them this love talks about delegation so 
it's still a little bit of a mystery, love. Huh? You're vermin. Ah, these people, they have less than you are and they compare themselves to you. Uh, and they feel that since you have so much and since we are your friends, you are obligated to, you know, I heard this from a taxi driver this summer where I was extremely unhappy. I was on a breakdown and I was messaged by the taxi driver who, who said that you don't have the right to have a meltdown or a breakdown because I'm Norwegian, I'm an oil child and therefore I'm rich and I should stay alive and be happy and help his father to fix his house and stay alive just to, to uh, do charity for other people. So not only do you feel bad, uh, you know, because of all the things you've been through, but now you shall feel bad because uh, you shouldn't feel bad uh, <laughs> because other people, they, they have a much worse life than you have. So, so if you are fortunate, if you like, you have this house, you have this fortune, but I still see you alone. I still see you not being able to trust a phony ship here. You can't trust anyone in this story. But you, according to this kind of vermin and uh, this snake and this woman, this young woman, you are not allowed to feel depression or loneliness or unhappiness because you have so many assets in the physical world. That is the most spiritual lesson they give to you. And regarding this snake, it's about you setting limits, basically be the queen of swords here. Don't open their letters, block them. If you already figure them out, who they are, you know, snakes are poison snakes are dangerous this kind of snake will kill you strangle you eat you alive so why are you even opening up the letters from this snake okay game over for today if you like me to do another game with even more outspaced stories than this one. Please hit the buttons, you know which ones, and please comment below. And uh, I want to do another story, which is a little bit more spaced out. Because this is too, for me, this was interesting enough, but at the same time, a little bit too much. I know this. <laughs> this what about you know traveling into the forest of fays and fairies and in that case i probably should stack up with more cards but anyway i love you so much i hope you had fun i hope you got some answers and i hope you got some um inspiration to make decisions to make the right decisions and to to be aware of that in this life i don't know about you but in in my life the way i travel in in many countries that are very poor there are actually very few people i can trust and they will play games with me in order to try and get access to my assets and i don't even have a house i only have the key i love you so much catch you on the flip side